Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Um, this is going to be uh, somewhat of a difficult subject for me because I don't really like talking about subjects like this. To kind of break the ice, um, I've been a little depressed as of late. Um, and I'll explain why in in a minute. But um, to kind of start off, um, I watched, I think, a couple weeks ago or a month or two ago. I don't, I don't know. I can't remember. Um, Jack Septicide, who I watched a few, uh, a lot of his content over the years. Um, and I also occasionally watch some ordinary gamers, Mudahar. Um, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm not familiar with Muda, uh, some ordinary gamers gaming content, but I am, uh, prevalent in his, um, you know, topic discussions. And, um, obviously Jack Septicai, who's very well known in the YouTube space, um, it makes a lot of gaming content, meme content whatever the case may be. Um, basically, over, I guess, I think ever since COVID, or even before that, actually, no, yeah, pr probably bef ever since COVID, I've been stuck on the internet. I've been, obviously, like, I remember a time when the internet was just starting to get rolling. and. Look, I'm 30 years old, you know, had my birthday back in August, August 31st. I've been around on the Internet since the early 2000s or whenever the Internet started. Um, I've seen a lot of things. And I've noticed a lot of things. I remember when the Internet was just a place for people to express themselves. I remember, you know, Tumblr and, you know, all these things and Snapchat and things coming into existence. Um, and at one point, I remember being in high school, finding YouTube for the first time and absolutely, absolutely being fascinated about what the platform brought. Um, And I remember making a Twitch account when that became a thing. And slowly over time, and I remember even downloading Twitter at one point. And although I never really used the platform to make my own tweets, I just, it, apart from like maybe responses to some of the streamers that I personally watch, um, and maybe a couple pictures, whatever, right? I never really used the platform and seeing as how where that platform ended up and ended up being, I ended up not using it. And I think it was better for my mental health. I, I was kind of glad that I never um, used it. I know I was, I was very glad because there I'm known to not have a filter and I tend to say things that are kind of out of left field. Um, Sometimes I say too much. Sometimes I say nothing at all. Sometimes I say, you know, sometimes I mention people without even context. That's just, you know, what, who I am. Slowly but surely, I saw YouTube, Twitch just become a very, well, not a toxic place, but a place of, well, let me back up. There are streamers on the platform, like, I'll just mention two of them, Hassan, Piker, and Fergan. If you know, you know, I won't go into too much detail, but if you understand what's going on in the world, I think it's not hard to find certain things about what's going on. But basically, I won't show any clips or anything, but basically, uh, these two creators, Frogan and Hassan Piker, um, said some, or we're, we're saying some pretty, you know, I wouldn't say derogatory, but pretty nasty stuff or, or, or condescend, whatever the case may be, right? Um, like Frogan, if you watch the clips and these clips are on the front page, by the way, or at least I think that is according to some ordinary gamers, 
gamer is um uh, i guess because he if you want to go check out that video um uh feel free um you know go check out his video i highly recommend you go check out that video even he was kind of done with making content like 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 you know covering certain topics and everything like look i'm in no means an expert expert on politics and that and i think that's where like the depression started to really kick in again was that all i heard was politics all i heard was politics this politics that's why i don't watch the news it's too depressing for me you know i'm in no means an expert i don't know shit <laughs> about what's going on in the world i don't know i couldn't care less i mean i should but i don't you know i all i know is a little bit of you know math a little bit of english well no no i know english i know math somewhat all i have is a high school diploma and no college degree so that that just shows what i know um i dropped out of college very early on in my life so um and i never went back i never planned on going back um you know all i know is video games I know about video games. I love video games. Video games are have been a part of my life since the day I could hold a controller and a handheld. Um, and when I was watching, I watched some ordinary gamers whole video, by the way, and I and I was very intrigued on what and where he was going with this. And honestly. He, he he obviously like because like this is going to be a kind of a rant video but basically brogan said it's like oh i hope you get ptsd as an american like you u.s so like i hope soldiers get ptsd right and like oh i hope you don't like she said a lot of heinous shit and one thing that i was like i i, I just it made me so depressed because all I got from YouTube is in recommendations was Asan Piker did said this or Asmongold did this or whatever the case may be. I don't even watch any of these people. Why would I care? But apparently it affected me and my ability to do things. And I was sleeping a whole lot, which is probably why I never made content in a number of weeks, or maybe it was what I, I needed to recharge. And honestly, I, I was done. But, and look, and, and, and I was done just, you know, not with life, but like, I was just done of the toxicity. And I was like, why are people like this? Why are people like this that just think they can say whatever it is they want to say and be and just take for granted of what every you know what these soldiers do whatever the case like i said i don't know shit so take what i say with a grain of salt i don't know what i'm talking about when it comes to politics i don't even attempt to make an argument when it's thrown in my face a lot and people force me i'm like dude i don't care i couldn't care less about you know but I feel bad what's going on in the world. I'm self-aware enough when I, I I'm self-aware enough when my family talks about it. And look, I'm just going to be straight up on with you. I have bipolar, a, a certain degree of bipolar where it's like, I'm either manic or depressive. Right now I'm in the depressive state. If you know anything about bipolar, I'm on medication for it. You know, I was on ADHD meds for a little bit, but then I found out that it was solely, you know, effing with the bipolar and I had to get off of it. But regardless, I could be either or if not properly medicated, if not on a consistent medication. Right now I'm in the depressive state because all I hear is, and I think it's because the elections in the U S is really getting heated right now. And everybody's just so divisive. I'm like, when I look back, when I look at it, I'm like, we're all human. 
we're all humid at the end of the day. We all share, we all breathe the same air. We all breathe, we all have the same blood. Unless you're, you're a fucking alien and you, <laughs> and, and unless you're a fucking alien and you have green blood or whatever, right? But I was looking at some ordinary gamers and Jacksepticeye who made a video called Help and all the toxicity in the world that's going on, right? I had to agree because I was one of those people that was online, especially during COVID. I had nothing better to do. And I slowly and surely saw the internet become a very toxic place for people. I slowly saw that. It has, it has, because I wanted, I made this channel who, if you've been with me since the beginning and you've, let me say this, if you've been with my channel since the day I made it back in 2022, not just stating all the way back when, uh, when my last video, first, vi my first video was back in May of 2022. That video is gone. I remember saying in that video, I remember it clearly as, as, as I'm talking to you now. When 2021 hit, I was very depressed. Plus, I wasn't properly medicated, but the, whatever. Or I wasn't on my meds consistently. I deleted that channel. I took a break. Several month break. Pretty much. And when I came back and I made this channel Emperor Lorcon, which, by the way, thank you for sticking by with me the, for this long, and all the new subscribers as well. I remember that even though I deleted that channel, I never once gave up on my dream. I never once did. I still haven't. I still think I could see the light forming at the end of the tunnel as I'm talking to you now. I can see the light. It's just been a wild road getting here. I've always, and I'm sure you could see it on my face where I'm not, probably not as talkative. I'm not as happy. It's because I'm depressed. The internet is a very toxic place. It's not just that, but it's just I'm aware that the world is a very nasty place place if you make it out to be. I'm aware where the world is a very can be a very cruel place. I mean, I remember when I made my first Thor playthrough, which I later redid and I and and people, I guess, seem to enjoy it or whatever. I don't know. I haven't really looked back at that, um, you know playthrough regardless of what i think i hope to god that i never have to make this video this kind of video again this will be the first and last time i don't want to make these kinds of videos but i felt like i've been so depressed that i had to talk about it that i just wanted to kind of share my thoughts on the whole uh, on the whole thing why I've been so inconsistent making videos, why I've been so insist inconsistent at making videos and making content or making too much content, whether the case may be. I've been trying to cope with the fact that I'm depressed. I've been trying to cope with the fact that regardless of what I think or what other people think, you know? Honestly, if I'm being perfectly honest with you guys, we are either in the worst of it or there's a light at the end of the tunnel waiting and we're just not seeing it. And I, and I, I keep getting, you know, like obviously there's a few good videos like Skyrim videos. I love seeing Skyrim videos like Juve. Juve and... Um, uh, Zero Period Productions and, uh, you know, ESO, when they make their videos, I love watching those videos. But when I, but, but, and, and then, you know, when I see 
and there the internet has become something of like a you know rage bait it it be, like people make rage bait video like i constantly get you know videos whether it be any channel talking about for example elder school 6 right elder school 6 has been a major topic in the gaming space um where it's like oh they're they're really going to you know the the high expectations are this and that and everything and I'm like it's rage baby that's what it is they're just trying the fact that the fact that and and you know it gets so rage baby that it just sends people down this toxic rage bait you know toxic angry whatever rabbit hole and i'm done with it i don't i couldn't care less about whether or not elder scrolls 6 will flop or not i'll still buy the product because it's my favorite franchise i mean for crying out loud my whole entire channel is based off of it whether it be oblivion whether it be Skyrim, mostly Skyrim, and whether it be ESO or doing another playthrough of ESO or live streaming it. Regardless of that, regardless, that's what the internet has become. And it's not so much to j j just talk to, as the, some ordinary gamer says, which I, I highly recommend you go check out his video. I'm with him in the, in the fact that I don't want to make these videos, but I see so much of them on my feed that it's like, I'm done. I'm not done with this channel. I, I, I want my channel to go somewhere regardless of that. But anyways, regardless of what I think, Regardless of what I think, I think that, in my honest opinion, whether or not you guys have come from my Skyrim content or come from a specific kind of content, I thank you from the very bottom of my heart, and it means a lot, and it means the world to me. At the same time, I just wanted to express my feelings and express my gratitude for sticking with me for this long, all 472 of you. I'm not even going to, you know, ask you to subscribe, like the video, whatever. I'm just going to sit down and record another video for you guys. That's all I'm going to do. And just be all about my day. Because at the end of the day, I just want you guys to understand that no matter what toxicity, we're all human beings. No matter what toxicity in, in, is in the world. We're all human beings. Now, yes, there are some mean people out there. But at the same time, we're all human. But there are some mean and mean-spirited people out there. And I just want you guys to stay safe. Stay safe. Look out for yourself. That's all that matters. And obviously, if you're feeling a little bit, a little bit depressed or down or whatever, or if you have someone like me or similar to me, if you have someone who may in your family or in your life who you may think have some disability or like whether it be autism, which I have with or ADHD, which I have, or even bipolar, you know, you feel like this person needs help, then help them. Don't just leave them in the dust. Help them out. Help yourselves out. Help help each other out. I think that's the most important thing. Well. Whether or not, whether or not, I, I don't even know why I had the head to, headset on the whole time, but uh, whether or not I, you know, you agree with me or not, I, I could just see either a disagreement or a great divide in the comments section about what, I, what I've said. And like I said, it's a rant. I'm ne I've never been good with my words. I'm actually quite interested to in reading all of them. 
And look, I get a lot of toxic comments. Or not a lot of them, but like the the two come to mind. Like one when I was Emperor Lork, the channel name was Emperor Lorca, and I got like a comment saying Emperor Loser or whatever. He got roasted by the way. <laughs> it made me laugh. I was like, okay. And then there was this other guy. I don't even remember what the comment was. I can't even, I don't remember what I, what it said, but it was like something of like, you know, it was something weird and mundane and, you know, you know, very, very random. Um, I was like, okay, well, I'm not even going to respond to those, those kind of things. Anyways, guys. I'll catch y'all next time. Look after yourself as always. I'm going to record a Skyrim video or an ESO video or whatever. Whatever I feel like doing. At the end of the day, we're all human. What 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 happens in life? We're all human. We all share the same same blood. Not blood types, but blood. Same color. If I if I died today or if someone were to open me up knock on wood i guarantee you i would have the same or, or organs as any other human being as some ordinary gamer said it himself i'm not even saying that for myself i'm saying that because also some ordinary gamer said it i agree with them if someone did, did open me up today or, or if someone, if, if I were to die and someone did an autopsy on me, guaranteed to you that I have the same organs. Anyways, I'm out. Bye, guys.